Good morning, everybody. It is ooh, bouncy. <laughs> it is 4:30 in the morning, and we are heading to Vincennes, Indiana, to go see the eclipse. Let's hope it's a good day. So last night we stayed in Louisville, Kentucky, which was it's which is about two and a half hours from Vincennes. Uh, we got up early to beat the traffic, hopefully. So we're on our way now. Should get there by eight in the morning and hopefully we won't have any cloud coverage. Let's go. It's 6.52, we finally found a Starbucks. We're still heading to Vincennes, we're about an hour away. Let's do it. first ones here there's a few other cars in the parking lot some of them are unoccupied so they may have just been parked here overnight uh, there were a couple people in some of these other cars though but it is now 15 after 8 we've definitely got our parking secured we're gonna go walk downtown and see what's going there that's about a mile of a hike but it's an urban hike so it'll be easy <laughs> Vincennes University, Indiana's first college, founded 1801. Right now, we pretty much have clear skies. Let's hope it stays that way. Eclipse begins at 146. Totality begins at 304. Totality ends at 308. And Eclipse ends at 420. So now we're almost downtown Main Street, Vincennes, Indiana. So they've got a few tents set up. We're gonna see what all they have. Looks like they're still setting up though. We just walked downtown Vincennes. Um, we were there early, so not all the vendors were set up yet. We're back at the parking lot. I've got my solar glasses on. I've got the sun behind me. We've still got several hours before everything begins, but we're getting all our equipment tested. Twelve o'clock, and the parking lot still is fairly empty. This is pretty surprising. I kind of expected this parking lot to be full by 10 o'clock this morning. Um, we were kind of actually worried that it would be full before we got here at 8 o'clock. So there's still cars slowly trickling in, or at least driving by. There's maybe more going on downtown, but um, we know that there's good parking here, and we're staying here. You know what? We didn't have to leave the hotel at 4 o'clock. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Had to order a pizza delivery because we don't want to lose our spot. Even though the whole parking lot is still pretty much empty. But I got me a meat lover's pizza. Pizza. 
135. And <laughs> the town expected to have tens of thousands of visitors, but it looks a little light. Now, I do think there probably are more people downtown on Main Street um, than we have here in this parking lot. We chose this parking lot mainly because we thought that the university would have some type of an event or some tents set up here. But apparently most everything is probably going to be downtown. But that's all right. I'm here, more here for the eclipse. This is perfectly fine for me. All right. Hopefully you can see it on video, but yes, it is starting to cover a little bit of the sun. We've got quite a few more hours before totality, but it's pretty cool. 2017, I had a paper box with a white piece of paper at the bottom of it and a hole poked on the top of it. So that way I had like a little projection booth. Well, I forgot to pack that type of stuff today, but I made this. So in theory, as the moon comes over to the sun, you should be able to see it with this. So hopefully this will work. Let's see, that's what coverage we should be seeing right there on that piece of paper. However, I'm definitely not seeing that. This contraption is not working as intended. I don't know what I should have done differently. Maybe I should be looking it up on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, right now it's not showing anything covered. However, we've got a little partial coverage right now. All right, looking at 2.40 p.m. right now, and that's what we're seeing. So, of course, my naked eye, well, not naked eye, because I've got glasses on, uh, solar glasses on. I can see it a little bit better, but this gives you an idea that the moon is slowly covering the sun. my little design and I realized that that hole is too big there's something about focal length and focal distance so I made a smaller pinhole I can see it pretty clear so it's basically a much smaller hole and now I am able to see the coverage dark it's not exactly midnight dark but it looks like the sun has already set all around us some of the street lights have come on and right now I'm looking without glasses There is next time. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, 20 years from now. So, what do you think of the eclipse? Thank you all for joining us on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Hit that bell notification to get a reminder of future videos. A special thanks to our channel members. If you'd like to further support the channel, become a member and get an awesome little dolphin beside your name to show off your support.